Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be talking about what you need for a CCTV setup. This is for a residential setup, a house setup, it's a DIY project. So the company I recommend getting the DVR from is Swan and the cameras from Swan because they come with all the cables, mounting screws, wall plugs and everything supplied in the box. So yeah, this is a Swan DVR, you can get it in 4, 8 and 16 channel and sometimes 32. It's a very good reliable DVR and I love the blue lights on the front, it just looks ace. And they are touch sensitive by the way. The next DVR I recommend is a Florion DVR. This is what Alex the Geekery has. He says it's ace, it costs about £30 without a hard drive and it's reliable apparently to Alex. So I might buy one of these and just test it out. So that might be in a future video on CCTV Vlogger by the way. So please subscribe to the channel and see if I do that. The next thing is wires. This is a standard 5 meter BNC cable. It's got BNC cables on the end of each other and it's got a male power jack and a female power jack. And it also comes with an RCA adapter which means you can just plug it into NTTV. The next one is coaxial cable. This cable is for like TV satellite cable it's called, but it's called coaxial cable. It's uh, basically you can use this for CCTV and it comes with power as well for 12 volt, which you need to buy an adapter for, the uh, power jack female and male. So yeah, and you also need to buy one of these, which is a BNC converter which means coaxial cable gets converted into a BNC end so it's a terminal thing and that just converts it into a BNC thing so you can plug it into your cameras and back of your DVR. Next thing, how are you going to power the cameras? You buy one of these which is a power splitter it just converts one power supply into four or eight or nine power supplies and the next thing is a power box the power box is basically what it says on the tin you wire all your cameras to them green terminal blocks and you power your cameras but you have to mount this on the wall and plug it into the mains and some also have backup batteries in the bottom which means when the power goes off the cameras are still running because it takes over it's pretty much like an alarm system so the next thing is cameras what camera shall I buy well basically here's the standard bullet camera made by Swan metal body and mounts very easily to the wall and it, out of the back of that camera it's just a BNC and a power jack so you just connect that to your big massive 18 meter, 30 meter, whatever meter cable, which is the big cable by the way, what we just showed earlier. So moving on, the next camera is a IR bullet camera. You can get these in vandal proof, but we'll move on to vandal proof in a minute. This is an eyeball dome, it mounts very easily to the wall and ceiling and makes for a nice neat finish. Also if you hide the wires. It's perfect for that. Next camera is a vandal proof camera. This goes under like doorways, so if anyone comes with a hammer, tries to smash it, it won't smash. It will be still recording. It puts up to a massive hammer, and I might get one of these soon and test it out. Not hating on CCTV, but. I want to try this vandal proof test. So, 
this camera is a PTZ camera. PTZ stands for Pan Tilt Zoom and you can move these it ends Pan Tilt Zoom. So you use this with your DVR, you can use it on the Swanview Link app and you can move it on the Florion DVR as well. And it's just a camera with motors in it which moves the camera in either direction you tell it to. Out of the back of that camera is a BNC, a power jack and two wires. The two wires is called RS485. This is the two communication wires which plugs into the back of the DVR or your controller and you can control the, D the PTZ. Moving on, here's a bigger PTZ camera similar to find on like banks, uh, office buildings, police stations and just like in the city of London or whatever where you live you'll probably see them on big buildings on the corner on the side and in the ceiling this is the eyeball PTZ camera it does have IR by the way this the other two don't because it's just low light for them but they see perfect in dark and they also are very fast because they're high speed so thank you for watching this video guys don't forget to comment don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe and also subscribe to Alex the Geekery